Hi, I'm Margie Remers Davis with Crystal Clear Cashflow, creator of the Fast and Easy Way to QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor Certification. Today, we are going to be looking at an exercise from the basic level course, Section 1, Lesson 8, Chart of Accounts. There are four exercises currently in this lesson. One of them, the one we're going to be doing today, which is... Um, adding an account to the chart of accounts um, is the most important lesson. This is what I call a critical exercise. You absolutely have to know how to add an account to the chart of accounts. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, first thing we're going to do is we are going to read the scenario. So Craig is investing in some new equipment for his landscaping business and needs to add a new account to keep track of how much his equipment is worth. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to log into the sample company. And here I am. You should know how to do this. Um, for a copy of this exercise or to learn more about our courses, use the links below and uh, you can find their uh, instructions on how to get into the sample company too. If you don't know all of that, um, it's in the description. So here we are in the uh, in my company to get to the sample company. I'm going to hit the gear icon and then go to sample company. And I'm going to say yes, because it's going to log me out of my sample or of my regular company. So here I am loading up in Craig's Design and Landscaping Services. OK, so the next thing we're going to do is from the left navigation bar, we are going to select accounting. Now, let me take my picture off of there so that you can see that more clearly. We're going to take a go to accounting and then select chart of accounts. Now, there are a number of ways that you can get to the chart of accounts, but uh, this is just the one that I'm showing you today. So um, if you get this uh, message, which you probably will in the sample company, you're just going to click see your chart of accounts. You won't see that in the in real life, so don't worry about it. This is our chart of accounts. So our, the next thing we're going to do is in the upper right hand corner, click the green new button, not the arrow next to it, but the button itself. And when I do that, you'll see that I have um, some information to fill out. So step four, let's go ahead and um, hop over to that and we we'll look at it more closely. It says um, complete the new account form as follows. Um, account type is going to be fixed assets. Detail type is going to be other tools, equipment, and the name is going to be power tools. Let's hop back over to our, um, our sample company. And, um, right, right here is the, this, this is the number one thing that people get wrong on the test. This is the number one question people get wrong. I coach hundreds of people to help them get their certification. And I am telling you, like this question, this, this concept is almost everybody gets this wrong. So I just want to hammer this into your head. I want to hammer it. And so that you get how important this is. Okay. This field right here, account type, account type is going to determine what type of report the this account that we're setting up now is going to show up on. All right. So it's going to show up as we talk about in the course there in your chart of accounts. You have either balance sheet accounts or profit and loss accounts. It's always going to be one of those two things. And this right here. Do you, do you hear me? This right here. Account type. Account type. Account type is what is what determines um, what kind of report this account is going to show up on. OK, so right here in our example, we're going to select fixed assets. And then for detail type, we're going to select this other tools equipment. And we're going to change the name to Oops, let me change this to power tools. And then we're just going to add our step five, which is to click save and close. And I covered it up. Let me take off step five right there. Save and close. All right. 
that's it. That's how you add. That's how you um, add a report to the chart of accounts. So if you found this video helpful, please give us a like. If you would like to be notified of future uh, videos that we post, make sure you subscribe and click the little bell. And of course, if you have any questions about our courses or this particular exercise, comment below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. So that's it, guys. I will see you next time.